This is your 2020 BMW 750Li. The L is for longer wheelbase, mild refresh for the 2020 model year. Let's jump into the perks, quirks, and irks. Get your jokes out of the way about the bigger grill. 40% bigger compared to the outgoing model. And if it looks like the one on the X7, well, you'd be pretty much right. LED lights come standard, but, and a perk for me, and I don't know why nobody else is doing this, BMW's laser lights are spec'd on this vehicle, and it's a lot of a more present blue on uh, this model than they are on uh, some of the other BMWs. So I think it's a fantastic system. You see far, far, far further ahead. Is that weird? Good? Yeah? You see further ahead um, with the laser lights compared to the LEDs, and there's a little BMW laser sign there. Nice little chrome trim around the bottom of the front end. And overall, good looking front end to me. Uh, I like the bigger grill because it kind of just gives it a much more commanding presence. And it's not quite menacing, but just it looks very, very, what's a good word here? It looks very sharp. I'll give it that. Going around the side, I want to back up to get the whole car in the frame. You got 20 inch wheels. Actually, let's take a quick look at the wheels. I like the rim design. It's, it's fairly clean and there's that little M badge right in the middle. Let's go closer to it. And you can't see it because I had to line up the logo on the M and that meant the M logo on the blue brake calipers were uh, hidden, but you know what? That's okay. The, uh, the hockey stick is now an L because it was, well, it's like that. And before that it was on an angle. So I think that's a nice move there. Just gives it more of a cleaner streamlined look. Let's back up. There you go. There is your side profile of the 750 Li. Let's dip around to the rear. I like it. I think it's been cleaned up just enough. Oh, it's me in the shadow. Let me get out of there. So yeah, nice clean lines. There's that nice light bar that goes right across from left to right. Tailpipes, eh, I would rather see them as opposed to have that housing around them, but it's symmetrical and uh, that checks all the boxes for me. Let's take a quick look into the trunk. You'll notice something right away. And... There it is. It's a, it's a fridge. <laughs> and we'll get into more of that once we jump on the inside of uh, the 2020 uh, 750 Li. So you can, uh, sorry, 2020, yeah, 750 Li. Sorry, I thought I said that wrong. You can either do that or a little kick. Get a bit of a light flash, a couple of beeps, and that's how you do that. Anyways, that wraps up the outside. Uh, good looking, clean design. Uh, I like the longer wheelbase. It just has that more dominant present on presence on the road and uh yeah back in a moment let's take a look at the rear seats a 2020 750 li here's a quirk there's an astray six-figure car a little peculiar but whatever nice speaker covers there they're metal and just they feel really nice and textured wood trims all around the vehicle nice shaped handle very nice a little bit of uh, extra storage space in there that controls the rear sunshade if you want to open or close that raises and lowers the very very rear shade so i want to press that and you can see it moving on the right side of your screen and again these go up and down let's put that one up there's a quick look at that there anyways uh memory seats massaging seats and what i like about this is that there's in addition to the Napa leather and it's quilted and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. There's a quick look at it right there. Uh, there's a nice BMW individual stitching. There's this nice leather braided trim just on here, here, and just kind of outlining the seats and it looks really, really sharp. You have your HVAC controls, heated seats, cool seats for your rear passengers. Just the outside ones, the person in the middle, well, yeah, tough luck. <laughs> yes, you can actually put somebody in the middle in some seven series respect that it's Sorry, only a four seater, but this one comes as a five seating option and you have hidden and protected USB and power sources. So dust and dirt does not get in there. Here's a cool little perk for me. Oop, lost my footing there. Apologies, friends. All right, so here's your armrest. That's how you control your seats. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Nice wood trim there. Uh, cup holders, come on. There we go, cup holders pop out right there. A little, uh, little more wood. This little button ejects the tablet, and that's not the cool thing about it, it's how it does it. Nice, slow lift, pull it out, do what you want, make all your controls. And this controls your storage bin right there, that's very nice. Here's my uh, kind of cool favorite thing. You're gonna pull this down, and that gets you access to that. And you're gonna pull this down, and this car is specced with a fridge in the rear. 
Um, that's what the big bulge was in the rear or in the trunk. I showed you in the first part of the video. We'll go back there uh, in a minute or so. Anyways, uh, this is an empty bottle of wine. So there's a look, not driving with open look, looker, liquor, and uh, a bottle of hot sauce because you never know when you're going to run into uh, I don't know, a pound of wings or whatever driving your $155,000 uh, 750 Li. Anyways, the cool thing is it goes between four degrees and 10 degrees. Right now it's off. The two buttons mean it's gonna go down to four degrees Celsius. One button means it's gonna go down to 10 degrees depending on how cold you want your drink to be. Obviously I'm gonna put that off because well, why not? That's that. And then this comes all the way up. And uh, yeah, so that's that, very cool. There's a fridge in uh, 2020 750 Li. This is awesome. This feels like my pillow at home. And uh, yes, it's removable. There's a strap there um, and your headrests contour, all four headrests uh, contour, not the uh, fifth one in the middle, uh, that poor person. Anyways, um, let's just take a quick step out. I'm gonna show you one more time. Well, I'll show you the inside of this, put some B-roll on the driving portion. Just really nice, really, really elegant. So I mentioned in the first part of the video that the fridge pops out quite a bit. Uh, I put some stuff in here that you didn't see in the first time, first clip, so apologies there. So yeah, it cuts in pretty deep, but it's fully removable. So in the winter, when you don't need cold drinks, take that out, you get the rest of your storage space back. Very nicely done. And uh, we'll close that up. So that's gonna wrap up the um, the rear seats of the 750 Li. And while we're here, let's just do the front. Again, very, excuse me, very, very similar. Quilted Napa leather, just such a nice, clean touch to it. Uh, speaker covers that are metal and uh, just it's such a classy look and I've always liked how BMW has done that. Let's take a look at the seats. They move every which way and uh, there are your controls for that. And the cool thing that I like, sorry go back here, the cool thing that I like is I'm going to show this to you. So the seat goes forwards and backwards and that's all great but there's a little indent button there and what that does, I'll take it back, so that just controls the top part of the seat because everyone's shoulders and whatnot are different. So I think that's really, really cool. And I'll back up and show it to you one more time. Again, just the top part, and now all of it moves. So well done there, BMW. Again, BMW individual uh, badging there. Um, let's just jump right in. Uh, we've been through this many times. So, oh, I adjusted the seat the wrong way. Give me a sec to, uh, to back this up. <laughs> all right, straighten this out and get this back to normal. So digital dashboard, um, people are not quite enamored with the uh, RPMs and uh, speedometer going in opposite ways. They feel it should just go this way to this way or this way to this way, not both. But I don't mind it, I think it's fine. I have no problem with the size of the fonts or the graphics or whatnot. There's that little camera there to keep an eye on you when you use some of the semi-autonomous features. It's good, it's, it's safe, and I think it's just fine. Uh, let's take a look up here. I like, I like this. It's, it's, I've always liked it. I don't care that it's kind of popping out. I don't care it doesn't, that it doesn't collapse in. It's just, it's, it's so intuitive. And the iDrive um, is just so, to me, it's one of the best systems out there. And if you don't want to use a touch screen, which you can fully, um, you, know, you want to go home, or you want to go to whatever it is, you can do that. Or you can use the actual iDrive controller. Um, your choice. Uh, I use this because I don't want fingerprints on my screen. Wireless charging comes here and there's a little USB port, a couple of cup holders. You don't want anyone to see what you have. You do it once and then that goes down twice. So all the way in. An ERC for me, I don't like these. I don't like the glass touch um, features. I want them to be hard buttons because in winter when I have gloves on, I don't want to be guessing. I don't want to put my cooled seat on by accident instead of my heated seat. That's my kind of gripe about that. You've got some shortcut buttons here and perk because I'm old CD player. Thank you for keeping that in. I don't know how much longer it's going to be here for, but for now we have a CD player. You got all your different drive modes, adaptive sport, and you have your sport plus and comfort and eco pro and whatnot there. Sorry for the glare. There it is. And your different cameras. And uh, let's just, uh, let's take a look at that right now. So there's your camera. I put it there. So now it's facing the rear. Camera image, oops, put the car in the reverse for a sec. And I'm gonna tap that. So you have a car wash view and take a look at this. Wheels line up and if they're turned, you can see exactly where it is, but uh, I wouldn't put this thing in a car wash. I, I, I just wouldn't. Uh, 3D view, also very, very cool. 
Um, so right now it's like someone's looking out of the car in front of me and then you're gonna touch these touch points and changes the angle of the car for where you want it. And let's go rear quarter. Sorry for my hand being there. Anyways, it's just, it's really cool. It's really, really intuitive. And you get your backup assistant. And I've gone through that a bunch of times. And basically you pull forward into a weird thing or you hit backup assistant, you pull forward into your weird uh, parking spot pattern. Uh, you hit backup assistant and then you just uh, you get backed in the same way you, um, sorry, backed out the same way you came in. Um, tight parking spaces, weird obstacles and whatnot. Uh, this is cool. And I'll talk more about this in the driving portion. This is their Sky Lounge. You can't really see it all that well. There's a little bit of blue, uh, I guess, in the middle of the screen now. And there's I think, seven or eight different colors and there's 15,000 LED lights. And again, I know you can't see it now, but I did take a B-roll video of it and I'll pop that into the driving portion. Uh, so everything is really, really nice in front of the vehicle. And even in the rear, just, it's a whole complete excellent package with car and park. So we stop moving. There we go. Uh, gear shifter, very, very nice. I. Uh, it's nice as far as the shape and it's angled. I think it's a little too high. I wouldn't mind if it could be chopped in half as far as size goes. Um, another cool feature here. I feel like we're going too long, but we'll wrap up this and get on the road momentarily. Uh, this is cool. It's, uh, it just opens up in two halves and I just think it's a nice elegant touch and you get a USB there. Yes, these are heated. If you're wondering, if you're asking, yes, they're heated. So. That's BMW for you. And again, with the headrests, uh, similarly similarly to the rear. Ah, sorry, that's it. Uh, if you have a weirdly small or big shaped head or whatever size head you have, uh, you can contour that so your head stays nice and snug. Um, all right, that's gonna wrap up the inside. Oh, nine minutes. Let's uh, get this out on the road. Uh, nice shot of the logo to end. Uh, we'll be right back. Actually, you know what? Let's take a listen to the exhaust notes and look under the hood. We'll be back with that. Hang tight. All right, under the hood. 4.4 liter V8, 523 horse, 553 pound feet of torque. It's autumn, so there are leaves. I don't know if those are for me or from the last person that had the car. Anyways, um, there it is. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Nice twin power turbo, BMW sign, BMW logo. And uh, yeah, let's just back up and take a look at it from here. And uh, I think it's a good time now to throw in some exhaust notes. So sit tight. I'll be right back with that. Let's do the drive, 2020 750 Li. Again, the L stands for the longer wheelbase. Under the hood is that lovely 4.4 liter twin turbo V8, 523 horsepower and 553 pound feet of torque. If that sounds familiar, that's from the M850i that I had a couple of weeks ago, uh, actually a couple of months ago, I'm losing track of time. Um, so uh, BMW's flagship vehicle is serene. It is gorgeous, it is elegant, it is it's everything it's supposed to be. And what I like the most about it is, well, I like a lot of things about it, but one of the things that stands out for me is even with the mid-cycle refresh, they haven't mucked around with a good thing. There's that nice, clean, elegant design on the exterior. No big, sharp, you know, angles or weird, peculiar things. They're not trying to reinvent the segment. And I think that's great that they're not trying to do that. And on the inside, it is just absolutely gorgeous in here. The Napa leather, um, the fit, the finish, just everything in this vehicle oozes luxury. And you know, I know that's what they're supposed to do, but every time I get in a seven, a seven series, sorry, I almost messed that up. Every time I get in a seven series, and it's been about, I think once a year I've had one, sometimes twice a year, and that's for the past, I think five or six years, um, I'm, I'm more and more impressed with how much attention BMW gives to not only all their vehicles, but especially the attention they give to their flagship vehicle. And there are no hard touch surfaces at all. And the seating position is tremendous and the engine is incredibly powerful. Again, 523 horse, 553 torque. I think it does zero to 100 in just a little under four seconds. 
maybe four four point one. It's it's incredibly quick. Uh, the dual sunroofs, their sky, uh, the sky lounge with those thousands and thousands of LED lights, and they can change color at night. To me, I would get that in a heartbeat, no questions asked. As far as fuel consumption goes, because I think people are wondering about that, I've done 737 kilometers and I've almost drained the tank. And it's a 78 liter tank of premium fuel because well, it's a twin turbo. So you can't just put that regular boring stuff in there like you would for, let's say, a 2004 Honda Accord, which is the car I actually own. Um, so, you know, it's a, it's a little thirsty, but you know, come on, it's a, it's a V8. So as far as fuel efficiency for me, I'm at 11.7, and that's been a blend of highway driving as well as city driving. I think it's been it's been about an even split, so you know not uh, not too bad. And your different drive modes: adaptive, sport, comfort, and eco, and depending on what you want and how you want it. And um, yeah, you know, there's really something for everybody, and the air suspension really plays a part in that as well. And um, there's not you know, a massive amount. It's not like four, five, six inches. You can't really raise or lower it um, like those cool modded cars from uh, Southern California. But BMW has paid attention and they've put in just enough of it to help improve the drive quality overall. Just waiting for these pedestrians to go. You can't see them, but I can. And that's, uh, that's more important that I can see them as opposed to you. There, there they are. I think you just saw them in the... So the camera mount fell off the windshield. So if there's a slightly different camera angle, I apologize. I think I got it mostly good, but anyways, uh, one of my irks with the seven series is the auto start stop. And my reason for that, it's just a little too eager when I'm going from whatever my speed is and I'm approaching a stoplight or a stop sign, it kicks in at, I don't know, maybe a couple kilometers an hour or so. I kind of get that jerky stop as opposed to a nice smooth stop. Um, and I've tried to, you know, kind of make sense of it and find a way for my, my balance of my foot to coincide with the proper stopping of the vehicle, but just, I, I can't seem to get it. So I have shut off the auto start stop for almost all of my, uh, my week with the vehicle and if I know I'm at a long light, then yeah, I'll put it on and I'll deal with the kind of jerky and just suddenness of it. Um, but if it's just regular stop and go city traffic or highway traffic, and whatnot, I'm, I'm just gonna keep it off. Um, there's a ton of safety features in here and I will list them there in uh, you know, now-ish. And as you read that, it's gonna wrap the review up. Um, 2020 750 Li um, gets the mid-cycle refresh and it is a truly luxurious vehicle and there's a reason it's bmw's flagship flag flagship vehicle and you know not too many irks um you know i'm, I'm again not a fan of the start stop but uh plenty of perks plenty uh you know some quirks and you get the active grill shutters as well and you know just it's everything you expect from a luxury vehicle as i pull into my driveway and um, so I have the auto start stop off, so that's why you feel that little jerk. Um, their 3D camera, their technology, the sun shades in the rear and the sides, the dual sunroofs, the sky lounge, just the overall fit and finish of the vehicle is wonderful. And I, can, I have very few complaints aside from the start stop. Um, the glass touch for your HVAC controls, not really a big fan of that. Uh, mostly because you're going to need them more in the winter than you are in the summer. Mm. Anyways, that's just my two cents on that. Uh, the fridge in the back, very, very cool. Um, these seats are tremendous. They're comfortable. They're, they, they're not quite as contourable, is that a word? They can't quite contour as much uh, as Lincoln's perfect seating position. I think Lincoln's goes 30 ways. And to me, that's a little bit of overkill, but my two cents on that. So 2020 750 Li from BMW. If you have any questions on the vehicle, please let me know and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. I appreciate the support. Feel free to subscribe and I'll be back sooner than later with my next review.